Welcome back design students. In this video we're going to bring our neon sign into Unreal, set up a project and start to build our scene. So when you start up Unreal this is this, this is the screen you'll see. It'll list previous projects if you have any and it will also give you the opportunity to create new projects. So we're going to create a new project. We're going to start in games and we're going to create a blank project. So click blank and uncheck this box that says starter content. And then you're going to have to give your project a location. Make sure you put it in your OneDrive. Mine is going in my external drive that I use in my Unreal 2023 folder. Yours should go in your OneDrive in your class folder. And you're going to name it something. And then click Create. And it may take a while, but once it's done with all that it's got to do, it won't have to do it again and it won't take as long to start up the next time. Now when it starts up, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. You may not see this window here. I opened this window up. I'm going to go ahead and close it. So this is probably what you'll see. This is an open world environment. We're not going to use it because it's very big and it's much more than what we need. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our content drawer. And in this blank area here, we're going to right click and select level. And we're going to name this something level one or two or whatever push enter and we're going to double click this new level that we created and we are not going to save this open world level now this is what we have so far just a blank level with nothing in it so we need some basic stuff here so let's close the content drawer by clicking on it again and then you're going to come up to this little place right here quickly add to the project uh, this little pull down and click it and that brings a list of things that you can put in your project. We need lights. So let's start with a directional light. It doesn't matter where these things are in your project. And a skylight. And then we're going to need a few other things. All of the other things we're going to need are in this visual effects tab here. So we're going to need a sky atmosphere. We're going to need volumetric clouds. We're going to need exponential height fog. We're going to need sphere reflection captures. And then finally, just in case, we're going to need a post-process volume. Now, here are all the things we just added over here in your outliner. Select the post-process volume, and then in the details panel that's right down below that, scroll down and find a checkbox that says infinite extents and check it. That means that now this processing volume will affect the entire scene. And then I want you to select your directional light and get your rotate tool, and you can switch tools up here in your viewport. That's your rotate tool. And I want you to rotate it so that the sun goes down and it gets dark like dusk. And you can turn off rotational snapping by clicking this little button right here. If you rotate it in the Z position, then that will place the sun in the sky. You can see there's the sun right there. So you're going to want it to be kind of dark because it's a neon sign and it looks better at dusk, if not nighttime. And then we're going to need a wall on which to put our neon sign. So go back up to that place menu here and you're going to create, you're going to place a cube. And then let's take this cube and get the scale tool and scale it so that it make it make it a little thinner and then scale it out and scale it up kind of make it look like a wall you can see on the other side of it where the sun is right 
Now you rotate around your scene in Unreal by holding down Alt and the left mouse button, or Alt and the right mouse button, or Alt and the middle mouse button, just like in Maya. Okay, now let's bring in our neon sign. So open up the content drawer, and in the content drawer, you will see an import button. Click it, and then we're going to go and find the neon sign we created. Mine is in my Maya 2023 folder. There it is. It's an FBX, and I'm going to click open. Then this will pop up. Now, very importantly, you must open this advanced rollout right here and check Combine Meshes. And then you want to make sure that you have Create New Material selected and you're going to click Import All. And when it's done, if you open your content drawer back up, you will see your sign along with some materials that are named and they should be roughly colored, the same colors that they were when you created them in Maya. You will also see that each of your objects here, your level and all the objects you just imported have these little asterisks here. That means they have not been saved. So if you click them, if you click the first one and hold down shift and click the last one to select them all, you can right click and select save and that will save all of them and the little asterisks will disappear. Now let's see what our sign looks like when we bring it into our scene. I'm going to open up the content drawer and click and drag the sign into the scene. No, it just tried to put everything in there. There we go, no, here we go. Click and drag the sign up into the scene. And there it is. It is facing the wrong direction. So I'm going to get the rotate tool. I'm going to turn rotational snapping back on and rotate it 90 degrees. And then I'm going to get the move tool and move it so that it is on the dark side of the wall and visible. And you can see because we managed the uh, scale of it in Maya, it came in the right size. Now if we deselect it by like selecting the wall, it just doesn't look like much. We can select it again here in our um, outliner and make sure that it's at least visible. You can see there's just nothing happening there. So what we need to do is fix the materials to make them glow. And we're going to do that in the next video. And I'll see you then.